today we will be working on part one of our Jen Stark drips. You are going to need your purple folder, a pencil, and a glue bottle. So I'm gonna put my glue bottle to the side as well as my pencil, and I'm going to get the papers I need from my folder. So inside of your baggie, you will see a black piece of paper. Grab that small black piece of paper. Your small white piece of paper you need should be in the folder. It is thicker than the one we used for our self portraits. You will need both of those papers today. We're gonna to start with the black and the glue bottle. I twist the orange party hat and we are going to squeeze glue along the top of that whole piece of black. Make sure it goes long ways and squeeze a lot. Usually we say dot, dot, not a lot. This time do a lot. Turn that party hat when you're done so your glue bottle does not dry out. Now we're gonna pick up our black paper and we're gonna stand it up and tap. We are wanting our glue to drip. So opposite of everything else, we usually say tap, 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 get that glue dripping. If yours isn't dripping, just add some more glue until you get a nice good drip. We're using that drip to look at as we draw our own drips. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm going to repeat what that drip looks like on my paper the best I can. I start all the way on the edge though, even though that drip doesn't. I have it dipped down, now I press lightly. The reason I press lightly is so that if I need to erase, it's much easier to erase a lightly drawn line than a dark line. I try my best to get each little drip the way I see it. You are just trying your very best. And you are going to bring this all the way to the edge of the paper. So I'm gonna have that line go off the edge. Now, I need to keep adding more drips, but I don't need them all to look the same. So I can either take sections of it or I can use my glue and try another drip. But I didn't add enough, so it's not dripping quite as well this time. And be careful of all the other glue on that paper. So I'm gonna leave at least a two finger space before I do my next drip. And I again, press lightly. I will not have my lines go on top of one another. So right here, as I get to that drip, I stop. And then I will let that line repeat, come back behind it. So I'm gonna have it come up, stop, and then go out the other side. And I'm going to fill my paper with more drips. They should at least be a finger or two finger spaces away from the last drip. And there we have our drips. Next, we'll get to find out how we will be adding some color, baby color. <laughs> 